Hey, welcome back to the Consulting Mind. Today we are going to talk about why the US Fed has been launching the QE again during the past two months in April and March. As you can see from this chart, the US Federal Reserve balance sheet has been increased by 2.5 trillion US dollars to 6.7 trillion in less than two months. The in increment is just crazy and massive. Uh, to give you a better understanding of how rapid the increment is, uh, let me show you the Federal Reserve balance sheet at a longer horizon since the financial crisis in 2008. As you can see from the chart, you can see uh, before and during the financial crisis, the Federal Reserve balance sheet is about less than one trillion US dollar, and it took almost six years uh, going through three rounds of QE to expand the balance sheet from less than one trillion to 4.5 trillion in 2014. So I think you will have a quite clear understanding of how massive the QE scale is after walking through the changes of the balance sheets of the Federal Reserve across the years. Uh, so why? What signal did the Federal Reserve observe? And what are they worrying about such that they have to respond that with such a massive scale of QE? You will get some signal from the latest data of the US non-farm payroll statistic. As you can see from the chart, the US economy has lost about 20.5 million jobs in April in a single month. And what does that mean? On average, uh, there's about 200,000 jobs created in every single month in the US labor market on the past 10 years. So uh, if there is 200,000 jobs created in a year, if you multiply that by uh, 12 months in a year and 8 to 9 years, it will roughly equal to the uh, 20.5 million jobs lost in April. In other words, the job loss of 20.5 million in April has already wiped out the job created in the past 6 to 9 years. So now let's go into the details of the breakdown and the structure of the US GDP. As you might have already been aware of, private consumption shares about close to 70% of the US GDP across the year. And where does the consumption's power come from? One of the major sources will be the gain in the stock market across the year due to the long bull market since the financial crisis. <clears throat> As you can see from the chart, the US equity markets has been gone through a very strong bull market since the financial crisis, which created a wealth e effect in the market. It means that when the US household had earned a lot of profit in the equity market, they have more power and more capability to consume, which again fuel the US, the engine of the US economy and created a very positive market cycle until the coronavirus has struck the US economy and has struck the uh, US equity market hard. And of course, the US Federal Reserve understand this, so they have to do something to um, save the market, to lift up the US market confidence in order to maintain the story. This is it. I hope the video will help you to understand more about why they do what they do in the past two months. And if you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe for me. Thank you.